Welcome to Autos and today we are learning the Dodge tool in Photoshop. The Dodge tool is located here and the shortcut is O. The general use of the Dodge tool is to brighten things up. For example, I want more shine on these coins. So I'll simply run the Dodge tool on them. So this was the dull before and this is the shiny after. We'll start with range. I'll choose highlights. This will basically brighten up the highlighted regions of the lion. So if I run the dodge tool on the shadows, not much of a change until I gradually reach the highlights which is when it starts working. Down there as well in the shadow region, there's hardly any brightening. So this was the before and this is the after. Next we are gonna go to shadows. This will mainly brighten up the shadowy region. We couldn't lighten this shadowy region earlier. I'm gonna try to do that here. See how the hair becomes more visible. So this was the before and this is the after. You can of course do a few more times to lighten them even more. And this is true for all the three ranges. I'm gonna use the same shadows range and run it full on this lion. You'll see how these dark regions are gonna lighten up. So this was the before and this is the after. Last we're gonna look at midtones which is mostly gonna lighten the midtones. I'm gonna try this here. You can take your time and compare them to reinforce the concept. The ranges are not perfect and I'm gonna show you what I mean. First I'm gonna use highlights. Now if you consider just this section, this is the highlight, this is the midtone, and this is the shadow. And since we selected highlights as range, the dodge tool should brighten just this region, right? So let's see what it actually does. I'll run the dodge tool on the shadow. That's perfect, it's lightening nothing. But as soon as I cross over midtones, it starts brightening. As we go on further, we see it brightens the highlights the most. Next, we're gonna try midtones. Now, in this section, the midtones is supposed to brighten just this portion, right? Let's test that. No brightening effect on the shadows. And it starts brightening as we cross the midtones threshold. That's working as expected, but as we go towards the highlights, it also tends to brighten a little bit. Last, we're gonna look at shadows. In this section, the shadows range should target only this portion, right? It does target the dark as we can see it's brightening up. But it's lightening the midtones a little bit too. And we can see it almost doesn't touch the highlights. Take some time and compare all of them. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the three ranges on this colored image. First, we'll go with highlights. And this will mainly brighten these highlighted regions. See how this shadow region is almost untouched. We can of course go a few more times to make the highlights even brighter. And there you go. Next we're gonna try midtones. This will mainly brighten the midtones and a little bit of the highlights. I'll go a few more times to brighten even further. So the midtones are much brighter now. Last, we'll try shadows. So it's mostly gonna target the shadow areas, a little bit of the midtones and the highlights the least. So these areas will mostly brighten up. I'll go one more time. And the dark regions are effectively brightening up without changing the highlights very much. So to compare, this is the original, this is the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. Next we have exposure. And to explain this, I'm using highlights as the range. First, I'll show you what 100% exposure does. So the brightening effect is very intense. Now I'll reduce the exposure value to 1%. Here the brightening effect is much less intense. So here's a before 
and here's the after. Next I'll explain protect tones and for that I'm using highlights. I'm gonna check protect tones and see the effect it has. It's brightening the highlights as expected but along with that it's also protecting the tones of the colors. You'll see what I mean when I show you the difference by unchecking protect tones. Let's do that. I'll run the dodge tool again like before. And now you can see how the colors are not protected. They're sort of whitewashed, right? So this was with protect tones and this without protect tones. So this is all I have for today. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.